Hi everybody, welcome to our virtual Christingle service. Our parish have held a Christingle service on Christmas Eve for as long as I can remember and it's such an important time for children and families to gather together to reflect on the true meaning of Christmas and to talk about the importance of Jesus' birth. We'll start our liturgy with the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amelia is going to start us off with an opening prayer. Jesus, light of the world, shine in this place. Jesus, light of the world, shine in our hearts. Jesus, light of the world, shine in our lives. Jesus, light of the world, shine in all the earth. Amen. We're gathered today, albeit virtually, to rejoice in the gift of Jesus as the light of the world. Jesus' birth was a sign of hope for so many. He came into this world as a baby to show the love of God to all of humanity. He taught with love, peace and joy. God loves us so much that he sent his only son, a part of him, to be with us and teach us how to love. This liturgy will give us a chance to reflect on the light of Jesus and how important it is for us to show and to share that light with others as a sign of hope. This year, more than ever, we are searching for hope. And many, unfortunately, have been left in darkness. Let us listen to the words of the gospel that Shannon is going to read and listen to what Jesus instructs us to do with the light of Christ. Make the sign of the cross on your head, your lips and your heart. A reading from the gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. You are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden, neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. This Gospel story tells us to let our light shine. As Christians, we receive the light of Christ at our baptism. Our baptism candles are a representation that Jesus' light is always with us. This Gospel reminds us that that light isn't just for us. That light is to share with everyone around us to share in the hope and the love of Jesus Christ. For many years, Christians have been using the Christingle as a way to understand the importance of Jesus as the light of the world. Jasper, Jacob and Matilda are now going to talk through us the meaning of each of the symbols on our Christingle. Meanwhile, you can follow the instructions in your pack to create your own if you haven't already. If you haven't received a pack, then you could draw your own Christingle, or you could print off the illustration from the link on our Facebook page and parish website. The orange represents the whole of God's world and God's creation. The red ribbon represents the blood and love of Jesus. It goes all around the world to remind us that Jesus died for our salvation. The sweets represent the fruits and blessings that God has given us. They are for to mark the four seasons. The candle represents like Jesus is the light of love. I would like a candle like Je Jesus brings a sign of hope in the, the darkness of our lives. So if you can now get a grown-up to help you to light your Christingle and we'll see that together we all have the light of Christ once again. And this image of the lit Christingle is a representation of why Jesus came down to earth. To bring salvation, to show love and to bring hope. If you place your Christingle in a place that's safe and it's not going to fall over, then you'd like and you'd like to join with us in singing one of my favourite songs, This Little Light of Mine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it this little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, 
Let it shine everywhere I go. I'm gonna let it shine everywhere I go. I'm gonna let it shine everywhere I go. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine all around the world. I'm gonna let it shine all around the world. I'm gonna let it shine all around the world. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. I'm going to listen to some bidding prayers. The response is, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, bringer of light to this world, we pray that your light shines in us and that we may reflect your light to others. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Uh, Lord Jesus, bringer of, bringer of light to the vulnerable, we pray for those in need of your care and compassion. Shine your light on those who find themselves living in darkness. May we bring strength to the weary, joy to the downhearted, and the peace to those who are restless. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, bring our light to children and young people. We pray for young people who are in dark situations. Shine your light on those who feel hopeless and afraid that they, that they may have a brighter future. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Yes, bring our of light to the helpers. We pray that you would be with those who work to help others. Shine your light on all those who teach and care for others. May they know your blessing upon them. Lord, in your mercy, hear yeah. our prayer. Please join in saying the Lord prayer together. Our Father, who art Lord in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Welcome to the end of our liturgy. I'd like to take this opportunity to wish you all a very Merry Christmas and I hope you all get everything that you've ever asked for. But most importantly, I hope that you receive the hope of Christ and the love of Jesus and that you can share that hope and that love with others. For so many, it's a very dark time and Christmas Day will be very, very different to how they've used, used to spend it. Let's take some time to reflect on those who are going to be alone this Christmas or those who are going to be in darkness. And let's ask Jesus to bring them into the light of the world and to show them the hope and the love of God. Dear Jesus, Lord of light, we thank you for granting us the gift of your light in our lives. Help us to reflect your light of those around us, especially this Christmas. Watch over all those in darkness and allow them to see the hope that your birth the world. Amen. We'll close the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us in our virtual Christingle service. And thanks to all those who have taken the time to record themselves in the readings and the prayers. Hopefully it's made this Christingle service a little bit more special. I wish you all a very Merry Christmas. We're going to finish with Lizzie playing Away in a Manger. <laughs> 